Hey, it's Dave the Space Ness here. Welcome to 2023. And it is lining up to be one of the best years for Scottish spaceflight ever. Obviously, we're at the bit the start, so we're at the basic end. So fingers crossed everything worked out this year. Saxe Vord have released a video showing development of the site. And in that they've named the launch pads as Launchpad Fredo. No, not that one. And Launchpad Elizabeth, which is named after no, not it'd be great if it was, but no, it's not named after her, unfortunately. It's named after Queen Elizabeth. No, not that one. Queen yeah, Queen Elizabeth II. It was named earlier last year for Queen Elizabeth II's um Platinum Jubilee. Obviously before she passed away. Um, so we've got Fredo and Elizabeth. And RFA Space, who are based in Germany, released a video today also. And they will launch their 30 metre two-stage RFA-1 rocket from Launchpad Fredo in Saxofford to a 500 kilometre sun-synchronous orbit once it's ready. So according to the Shetland Times, yeah, it, it is a real publication. Promise, I've checked. Um, according to Shetland Times, RFA Space have exclusive access to Launchpad Fredo. So, the likes of Skyrora, Astra, ABL, all these companies that have already agreed to launch from Saxavord will have to use the Elizabeth Launchpad. So, we'll see. Um, there's space for them there, so it's just a matter of who can get their vehicle operational first really um to launch um i think rfa are fairly far along the line they've already built their launch stool i believe they call it which is anyway their metal structure that you see seen in the video is already on site so hopefully they'll be static firing their rocket there in the near future and we might see a launch from shetland um Speaking of launches, um, I can't ignore Virgin Orbit. I'm a fan of Virgin Orbit, believe me. Um, launch One, it's a great system, um, but it obviously didn't work this time, and their live stream was abysmal. If you watched it, if you managed to watch it, um, yeah, um, you know, the money's obviously going into, you know, engineering and pay and whatever. And our YouTube live streams are just not their priority. One or the other, um, it wasn't a great presentation. But the people that I do feel sorry for are the payload customers who lost their, their satellites. So um, hats off to you and I hope you can get your... Your satellites rebuilt um you know make improvements while you're going along and get them back in there get cosmic girl back over and launch it properly next time um it probably take months um i have heard it probably won't even be 2023 that that'll happen so uh very sorry to the payload customers but space is hard so they say um okay before i go astralis young explorers fund if you've not seen my tweets why not are you not following me follow me on twitter um astral is um she has set up her own charity i'm a big fan of astral is she's only nine years old and she's doing more for the space community in in the uk than you know many people that have the resources and funds to do so so um she is set up a charity which is to secure funding to help young people achieve their individual space dreams. What a girl. Um, I believe she's already raised enough to send 36 kids to the National Space Centre. But she obviously has a target. So links in the description below. If you can't donate, please share it. We need to get the world, the, the world on board, basically. And yeah, so... Thumbs up to Astro Liz if you're wanting Space Nessie merch. Links in the description below. And if you want to see my time lapse drive from near my home to uh, Spaceport Sutherland, 
then I'll pop it up there and I'll see you in the next video.